Hey guys, Luke Paul Smith here. Hey, it was a bit of a mess because I've just been in the um, hot tub and it's a bit all over the place at the minute. Um, today is Thursday the 25th of June and I want to talk about theme parks today because it has been announced that on the 4th of July, American Independence Day, we will be having the um, UK theme parks all start opening like Kensington, uh, Fort Park, uh, Alton Towers and Blackpool and all, all that stuff like mostly all the, um, the major ones for now. Now zoos has already opened. I have seen a few vlogs that Kensington when they opened their zoo already. So their zoo is already open at Kensington as well as London and Ripsonade Zoo. Um, so on the 4th the theme parks will start opening as well as um, places like um, <clears throat> cinemas, um, I think uh, bars, uh, pubs and things. I think pubs and clubs will be opening last so I don't know if that will be the fourth or maybe a bit later because it's such a compact space. Um, but this video I want to talk about um, theme, the theme parks and how I feel about them opening this early. Now yes places like that can't can't be closed forever I know it's like a major company obviously Merlin make, makes money um, even if if they're closed um, now they're going to be taking online um, tickets only which will mean you can't just go up to the door and pay in cash you have to do it online only um, so you've got to buy a ticket. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be doing it uh, like a certain amount of people in at a time. Like I don't know because we've um, actually seen on the Rips and Aid in London Zoo websites that you have to be you have to take on a time slot. Um, so you can get in at a certain time. Uh, so there's like less people in at a time. So it's not too busy. Obviously, with, with this thing going on, it, you don't need it to be too busy, otherwise, uh, problems will happen down the line. So, from what I've seen um, at the, um, obviously, at the um, Kesson theme park vlogs at the minute, they have put uh, markers on the ground, like social distancing markers. They put the um, um, like liquid rubbing alcohol, no, not rubbing alcohol, um, like hand wash all around the park so you can like wash your hands and things, which is good. And they're basically taking all the precautions to make sure everyone's safe and good at the um, theme parks. So I don't know how the rides is gonna go. Like obviously they're putting distancing markers in the queue lines. So I'm not quite sure how that is going to be panning because I do eventually want to go back to Kesson this year, uh, not not next month, maybe in like August or something, depending on how things go. Because to be fair, I really want to go out again. I I miss going out. I haven't been out anywhere since uh, I think the last place I ever went out. To and like filmed and enjoying myself was um, London Comic Con last October. So it's been like roughly almost a year since I'd done anything. Uh, I believe I went to the cinema, but like I'm talking about going out, out like for a day out, that sort of thing. So yeah, I do miss going out and I'd like to go to at least one or two places by the end of the year so obviously you got to take precautions when I go out I'm just going to put on the um, a face mask and hope for the best um, and um, yeah I don't mind 
places like like um theme parks opening obviously like i said before that they, they obviously got to open because people want to go people want to spend money at these these places and enjoy themselves on the rides and such and um yeah i don't think merlin would lose a massive amount of money um being closed down for months uh because it's a big company. You can buy like merch from the online stores and things you like sponsor and that that sort of thing. So and they're taking donations for their um charity. So they I, I don't think they'll go bankrupt over not um being open for these few months. I just think business will be slow and I'm pretty sure like as soon as they open on the 4th, there will be all the theme park vloggers under the sun going back to, to theme parks and vlogging. It is going to be rammed. That is why I'm not keen on going straight away. Like I want to leave it for like a couple of weeks at least. Let it simmer down a bit and then I'll start going again. Um, but like I said before, I do want to go back to Kesson, uh this year. Um... Also, I do want to go back to um, Rip Ripsonade Zoo as well this year as well. So that's two places I like to go back. And I'm not quite sure on um, if London Comic Con is going to be back on for um, October. But I do know that London Film Comic Con is going to be on November. They put in the summer one in at the autumn, in at the winter. So that's going to be random. And I, yeah, I am hoping to go there, as long as London is safe enough and not on fire. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hope for the best. At the minute, I'm still working at the minute, so that's fine. Unfortunately, it is absolutely baking outside. Um, earlier one, it's it's a bit cooler now, but it's still a bit sticky, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I do work outside and I have to work in it, but luckily they let me have drinks and water and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's a um, that that's a um, thing. But yeah, you got to work, earn money, otherwise you can't go to places like theme parks and stuff like that. And that's what I'm still saving up for, still saving up for my holidays that I should have went on for this year, but I got to postpone them for next year. Um, so yeah, that was my take on, well, a bit of everything, what, what's been going on, uh, ha and what places is going to be opening up, but mainly theme park, uh, related as well, so, bit of a, um, COVID-19 in the UK update for you today. On Saturday, I have a, maybe a reaction video planned, or that might be for the Sunday, I'm not quite sure. I'll keep you posted on that, so join me Saturday for another video.